Hey, um, it's me. My name's Ellie. My full name is Alona. I'm an artist from Latvia. I'm also a stay-at-home mom. So it can be a struggle to find time for making art, especially now that the school has started. But I've had a tough summer and I didn't create as much as I could as I would normally do. I only painted in my sketchbook for the most part. But now I'm finally ready to create some work on canvas. And I have a huge project going on that I'm pretty excited about. And today I'm going to uh, take the next step and to add some color to the texture that I've already made. I'm going to show you the process and hopefully you will find it interesting. But first I wanted to show you how exactly did I make this texture. I used a baking tool and a really thick acrylic paint to make this tile kind of texture. And here I am, I am back to my studio space and I'm just cleaning things up and making space for this new project. I am pulling out my large textured painting, uh, which really is a cursed kind of canvas because I worked on it a lot and it has a lot of layers of some works that I didn't like at the end. I'm going to use this indigo color which will be diluted with water and I really want to make this beautiful indigo wash on top of my beautiful texture to see how it fills in the gaps and the textures. Really looking forward to creating this beautiful abstract effect. So I begin applying the paint diluted with water. I'm using a simple brush and lots of water and my indigo color to really fill in the gaps in this beautiful texture. I'm loving it so so much already. I really see that I've chosen the right color and I'm loving the effect that it creates. This feels so so very satisfying for me like a meditation and I really like how it turns out so far. So I'm done with the layering my indigo wash on top of my texture and I just wanted to share my thoughts about this. Let me bring you closer and I will tell you what I think. So I'm really sure that the color that I chose is the right one. I really like how this indigo color looks when it's diluted with water. It almost acts like watercolor and you cannot really predict how it will dry and that's what excites me and I really like how this uh, colorful layer brings out the texture. It almost makes it feel like some ancient tiles. I don't know, ancient Greek or Roman tiles and I'm really excited about this piece. I cannot wait to see how it dries and my plan for the next step is just to coat it with a good uh, amount of varnish so everything stays in place. I'm not sure if there will be any more colors added on later. I feel like this uh, simplicity and complexity really excites me. Let me know what you think.